this laugh is is going to be thanks to uh, James Corbett of the Corbett Report. I'm going to play just the the opening uh, little little rant he has here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the world only has three years left. Three years left to live. Come on, James, take it away. Dear friends and subscribers, it's with a very heavy heart that I come to you today with some very alarming information. One of the top former UN climate officials has come out to warn that there are only three years left to save the world. This coming from no less an authority than The Guardian. World has three years left to stop dangerous climate change, warn experts. And experts are saying this, folks. Not just any normal people. Experts. Former UN climate chief Christiana Figueres, among signatories of letter, I warning love experts. that the next three years will be crucial to stopping the worst effects of global warming. Crucial! And this goes on to say that in a letter published in the journal Nature this week, the authors, including former UN climate chief Christiana Figueres and Hans Joachim Schellenhuber of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change... Oh, they sound like experts. The they got experts sounding years names. will be crucial. They calculate that if emissions can be brought permanently lower by 2020, then the temperature thresholds leading to runaway, irreversible climate change... Irreversible death! This is very serious information. I hope you take it seriously. I do. I do. I do take it. Thank you, James. So, yes, in a letter published in the journal Nature this week, former climate chief Christiana Figueres and her cohorts are calculating that if emissions can be brought permanently lower by 2020, we can save the planet, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Now, the odd thing about this Guardian article, I don't know, don't you think it's kind of odd that they do have a number of links to things in here, but for some reason they don't link you to the actual letter in the journal Nature. Why is why, that? Why wouldn't they do that? It's almost why? like they don't think that no! you're responsible, intelligent, adult human beings who no! can process information for yourself. And furthermore, it's almost like they don't want you to read it. So yeah. I will put the link of course, All right. in the show notes for this video so you can go read it for yourself so, the actual letter they're writing so, about here so i'm gonna pause this like here. this one and many others and again go to istatetv.com or excuse me istate.tv forward slash zero 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 and you'll find the show notes you'll find the video i encourage you to watch the whole video but i'm not going to uh, uh, play the whole video here. In essence, what you have are a bunch of technocrats who have they, they, they don't they're, they're not scientists. They the experts. They're they're not scientists. They're 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 technocrats who have decided somehow that uh, in looking at the 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 data, if we don't do something you know really drastic. Really soon. By the way, really drastic, really soon means you know we need a we need a centralized authority to tell the whole world how to structure everything about human existence. If we could just get that within the next three years, we will not die. But if we don't get that in the next three years, we're all gonna die. Yeah, that's right, folks. We're all gonna die. Thank you, James. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I now realize that I must uh, turn over all of my sovereignty, all of my independence, all of my free will to uh, perhaps 100 or 200 people that will be smart enough to figure out how the other 7 billion of us can live our lives in a way that we are not going to kill everyone within the next three years.